largest county in the state will have a new leader in the sheriff's office. The appointment was announced just today, coming in light of voters turning the sheriff's office from an elected position to an appointed one. Fox 13's Hannah Kim sat down with the interim sheriff a short time ago. Yes. There is a new woman in charge of the King County Sheriff's Office. I think there are many things that we can do in this interim period. Patty Cole Tyndall will be the first person of color to lead the sheriff's office starting January 1st, while King County launches a nationwide search next year to look for an official sheriff replacement. Do you want to be the next sheriff? I am not applying to be the next sheriff. Why not? Well, I feel like my focus right now needs to be on the workforce, supporting the workforce, and ensuring that smooth transition. And if I were to apply, I think participating in the application process would basically interfere with my ability to be focused on what I think is most important right now. So her title will be interim sheriff. And since she's been the second in charge below Sheriff Mitzi Johanknik, the day-to-day -day operations will not be new to Cole Tyndall. But she says going forward, she has a big priority, and that is to open up communication channels, not only within the sheriff's office, but communication to the public. One of my main priorities will be communication transparent, frequent communication. Was that lacking before? Well, I think communication can always be improved. That's what I would say. So uh, there were communication efforts previously or currently, but I think my emphasis will be more on um, more frequent, more transparent, um, engaging with our workforce overall in the profession of law enforcement, it is more difficult. People just don't want to do this work anymore. The young people, right, because they see defund or non-support. That's why she supports King County Executive Dow Constantine's proposal to give out $7,500 in hiring bonuses. But she also supports reimagining law enforcement now, as right? well she as diversifying right. the force. Bring in diversity, women, people of color, um, so that the sheriff's office can be, you know, we reflect the community. Tindall also says outside of commissioned deputies, the civilian workforce that supports the sheriff's office are, in her words, understaffed.